Hey guys, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the eTrailer J-Style Folding Kayak Carrier on our 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. This is going to be a really nice affordable way to get your boat on top of your car. And I like the J-Style because I can fit two on there or I have room on the other side generally of crossbars to add an additional accessory. So if you want to throw a bike rack up there, maybe even like a smaller one of the more narrow cargo baskets. But I think that this is going to get a lot of use, especially if you want to add that second carrier to the other side. I like this style because of the aluminum construction, so I don't have to worry about rust and corrosion. And all of the straps that you see here are included. And I think that these are a really nice set of straps because I like the color combination. I think they look good, but I like that they have these neoprene sleeves that go over the buckles. So I don't run the risk of it scratching my car if it comes into close contact or even my kayak. One of the best parts is that these soft anchors are included. If we didn't have these, you have to get the bow and stern tied down some way. I see a lot of kayaks going down the road that aren't tied up, and it's just not a safe way to do it. And instead of draping that strap all the way over the front end, which potentially scratches the front end, or trying to find a place in the back um, to hook it, it's just somewhat challenging at times. And this is a really good way to use those anchors and under the hood and in the back hatch. Now with the back hatch there, we can take that anchor out. And with this specific kayak we have in today, we can barely get access. I think somebody could hold this there to get that there. But if you had a longer kayak, you'd probably have some issues. And we can just put that back down in there. Probably be a better idea to get that loosened up a little bit, but so it's pretty easy to get those back in place. You know, instead of having to go down and hook it to a hitch, and if you didn't have a hitch, and you have to hook it to the frame, and it's just a much easier way of doing things. See, I'm having a little bit of trouble there, but just loosen it up a little bit. Get that anchor to sit over that threshold. There we go. Then we can just get this tightened up, and we'd be ready to go. We went ahead and took our straps off, but before I take my kayak off, I wanted to show you how this sits. So this isn't perfectly sitting in there, but I don't think you're gonna have really any kayak fit exactly in there. But every point of contact in here is touching either a foam pad or this rubber piece right here. So I like that it's gonna protect my boat. We can get this taken off. And this gives you a better look at it. So we have that foam pad that goes all the way up here. And then the best part of this is this is a J style that I don't have to leave up. So I can lower this down, get much smaller footprint here. So you can also expand these back if you wanted to go back a little bit further and get it more upright. And then all of those teeth are where they grab in. And you can just get those rotated down. There you go, we have a really small, short base right there. We have this mounted on factory bars today, but this is also gonna work with most aero style bars and even square or round bars if you have that style. And they just have these little knobs here that you can loosen up. And then the clamps are gonna be rubber coated so you don't have to worry about your bars getting scratched up either. They just loosen up and you can move these around on your your bars, if you need to get more room, if you had square or round, you could bring them out even further past this foot. And then you just tighten it up and you're ready to get your boat loaded up. Now when we have these down in the lowered position, they are going to stick up about seven and a half inches off of our roof. So not super high. There are definitely more lower profile styles, but I think at this height, you're not gonna have any clearance issues. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. The solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. Then on to our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or any even pavement. Now overall, I really like this style kayak carrier. 
The J style is a classic design, but the way we can fold this down is what stands out. And at, especially at an affordable cost, we're getting a lot of features. I like that all the straps and anchors are included. And I like that I can fold these down. The aluminum design, they've kind of been scratched up. These get used quite a bit, but it's still gonna hold up against rust and corrosion. I think you're gonna be pretty happy with the way these work out. But that's gonna do it for our look at the e-trailer J-style folding kayak carrier on our 2019 Subaru Crosstrek.